Let's talk about Houston for a little bit. Mm -hmm. What do people get wrong about H-Town? Um, Is it something people say, but it's not true? What, uh, something you may hear out-of-towners say about it or something in passing. Is there a, a misconception about Houston? Uh, there's a lot of them. You know what I'm saying, but one of the one of the main misconceptions I think, man, is that um, I think they think we glorify the syrup and all that a little bit more than we, than we actually do. It's just a part of the culture. We don't we don't we don't glorify to the point where we want to, you know, where we really suffering from people really dying every five. However, somewhat happened to people. A, a big misconception is that. We're just a city that's so indulged with these drugs and we're dying over these designer drugs, whether it's drinking it. It's not really like that. We're not dying over no drugs, no more different than any other city. We're just popular people. We have legendary names, so it sticks a little bit. But that's a big misconception that this that this drink pet that this drink is an epidemic to us just as much as it's something that we glorify and it's not. This is something that you and I have talked about. Yeah that you had quit once upon a time. Yeah. Is that still the case today? Yes, that's still the case today. Best thing about Houston, in your opinion, out of all the characteristics they may, there may be about it, what is your personal favorite? Self-made independency. The way that we, we you know, we, we're a great independent city as far as we know how to live within ourselves. I love the way that our city gives artists an opportunity to have a great life, whether they huge stars or not. I love that about our city, where our city gives 10 and 12 and 15, 20, 30 people to have a great life. People that you may be hearing about, people that I see on your interviews and I see you shouting out from our city, they live in great lives and man, that's a great opportunity for music. I don't know a lot. I'm not saying Atlanta's great for music, big stars. I'm just talking about being independent, getting the opportunity to do music. You can have a great life and I love that about Houston. On the opposite end of the spectrum, is there a worse thing about Houston? Um, Your worst, least favorite characteristic. About our Houston. least favorite characteristic is the every man for itself thing. We're so independent to, you know, you know, that's why people are always trying to get us to, and y'all need to go to Atlanta, or y'all need to go here, because we're so, what, what I call them, independent, independent contractors. You know what I'm saying? And I just think if we just probably collaborated them, we do, but not from a standpoint that, like, that we should probably, that'll make us go further or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I come to Atlanta, man, it's crazy, man. I didn't walk in the studio one time and just, I just happened to get a song with Yo Got In 2 Chains just from being there. That doesn't really happen in our city. We'll come do it, but I think we can, if we get back to the collaboration part, I just think we so much of self independent contractors and every man for itself that sometimes that separates us in a bad way. But for the most part, we're good. Do you have a solution to this issue at all? Um, I think I think that it's getting better because we're starting to embrace more. I think at first a lot of younger artists was following our blueprints and the way that we did it, and now we're able to accept. I think at first, man, in the H Town way, that's all we kind of wanted to accept was people doing it like us and how we were doing it in a part of our culture. And I think, man, one of the big stepping stones was just accepting people who they are. B King is who he is, DJ Chose is who he is, Lil Kiki is who he is, Slim Thug, and we can all be one happy family even if you're doing something different than what I'm doing. How are the different generations of rap music gelling or not gelling together? I think they're gelling. I think I, just, I, I think I think. Um, Are there collaborations happening between both different oh yeah, generations? Oh yeah, you go to my album, Self Made Two, Self Made, even Legend. That's always a big thing for me to make sure that I collaborate with the younger artists, the hotter artists in our city. I've been doing that for a while though. Like I get DJ Chose on everything. He's with me. I'm got singles and um, DJ XO. All of those. We. I think the collab. I think the collaboration between the OGs and the. Sometimes it get a little missed. Mis, you know, misconceptive, but for the most part, all the ones that's really come up, we kind of reach out and we're doing music with. It's not too many of them that we're not, you know, involved with. I think so. Is it the OGs initiating those collaborations? Is it the younger artists initiating those collaborations with the A little OG? bit of both. A little bit of both. You know, from the OG standpoint, like my new single, um, 
um, with with the We From Texas, with me, Slim Zero, and Sauce Walker. That was something I wanted Sauce Walker to do. At the same time, a year before that, we done a hook and it was on his album. He wanted to use it for his album. So it goes a little bit of both ways, you know what I'm saying? For They reach out to the OGs who they respect and who they want to deal with, and we do the same. And we try to make sure that we're available for that. Are you able to say you're from Houston without actually saying you're from Houston? You know what I'm talking about? What's the most Houston response when asked, what do you do for work? <laughs> uh, and it doesn't have to be you personally, just something people get asked in the city of Houston. What do you do for work? What is the most Houston response when asked, what do you do for work? I got a food truck. <laughs> everybody got a food truck. Now, now, Houston, man, everybody's, it's so much independence. You know what I'm saying? You either doing, you know, I tell you this, everybody's doing something that's not related to corporate America. I would say that. Everybody has something. I don't care if you promoting. I don't care if you in music. I don't care if you in food. I don't care if you in clubbing. Everybody is trying to be a part of the Houston culture because it's so rich. And it's so rich with people coming, not rich as far as money, but rich with people coming in and buying and supporting. So everybody from Houston is trying to branch out to be doing something. Most people I know, they're into something else. You know you're from Houston if you have this in your home. Fill in that blank. Oh, you from Houston if you have what in your home? What would everybody in Houston have in their home? I hear people on the side. Oh, you talking about a silly van? A uh, 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 AC. Uh, AC. <laughs> oh, shit. That, that's, that's understood. Uh, I'm trying to find. I ain't even bring up AC. That You better have that. I'm trying to find something more. I think. Um, you know you're from Houston if you have this in your home. Maybe something you don't see when you're in homes in Atlanta or Miami or New York or L.A. What you thinking? In the house? What we got in the house that you're going to say, well, a screw tape? If you got a screw tape in your house, you from Houston, period. And you and you pretty old, too. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a screw tape of that, you from Houston. I you, I, or I will say this. Oh, no. Nah, okay. I got one. I got I got one. If you have a if you have a exotic pop soda in your refrigerator, you from Houston. You from Houston. If you got a, especially if you got one of the names like mines, hawks, bows, whatever, you from Houston. If you got that particular soda in your refrigerator. I was about to say a Fago, but I don't know if that's our brand. But if you got something like that in your basically, we're known for some big shot. Fago, Exotic Pop. If you got any of those off-brand sodas, those Exotic Pop sodas, those Sun Kisses that's not in regular stores, you from Houston because we real big on some soda shit. And you have your own personal soda? Yeah. What's that called and how can people get that if they're watching this, getting to know you for the very You can go to ExoticPop.com or you can just walk into any of these stores around here that, that's distributed by, we distributed by Pepsi. You know what I'm saying? I'm an Exotic Pop ambassador and his like pop owner. So um, I have my own soda. Flip has his own. Bun B has his own. Mine is the black cherry. And um, yeah. Was that a flavor you were given? You actually picked out for yourself? Well, that's we just had a big conversation about that. That wasn't actually my favorite flavor or the flavor. That was the next flavor up. You know, they be, you know, as they get to do flavors, you know, they don't just, you have to get approved to do this one or this one or that. And at the time, all the flavors that they had, the purples and the pineapples and the grapes and the strawberries, they were really gone. Black cherry was the next flavor up. So, you know, it kind of stuck. I went with it. And um, I got another one coming soon. How many screw tapes do you personally have yourself? Me? In, your... in my house? Yes. Zero. I have none. I, I can't keep it. I, have, I, don't, I don't have one. Not one. And um, that's a sad thing, but I don't have none. Any. At this time. I can get them at any time I want to, but they don't mean as significantly to much to me as me no more if I'm not getting the exact one that's from back in the game. Now, if they from, because I can go get them all copied if I want to have them in a thing. And just to be honest, I don't have them because I don't love it. I don't, I don't even have a cassette player in my house anymore, period, a card, none of that. 
but I, I I need to get some. I know I know somebody who got 50, 60 originals. A close friend of mine, I'm talking about really got 50, 60 of the, from 1993. Yeah, stick. Got him. I want him too. <laughs> he not letting them go. <laughs> he not letting them go, but he got him.